Iran's air force is currently in poor shape to defend the country, and no new classes of combat jet have been acquired since the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. Iran also deploys early fourth-generation F-14A heavyweight air superiority fighters in two squadrons, which have been heavily modernized domestically and today represent the only aircraft equipped with modern munitions for air-to-air -air combat. While Iran previously tried to acquire modern combat jets from Russia in the 1990s to add to the MiG-29 and Su-24 jets it had acquired from the Soviet Union, post-Soviet Russia notably refused to provide such weaponry under Western pressure. As the Russian leadership has changed since and Moscow's relations with the Western bloc have deteriorated, the country is likely to be willing to apply combat jets to Iran, including medium and possibly high-end designs. The emergence of other major non-Western suppliers since the 1990s has further improved Iran's position should it seek to modernize its fleet and provides a wider range of options. An assessment of the leading classes of fighter Iran is expected to show an interest in, based on their capabilities and the Iranian Air Force's requirements, is given below. MiG-35 Possibly the ideal fighter for Iran, the Russian MiG-35 4++ generation medium-weight fighter will introduce many next-generation technologies to the Iranian fleet, from powerful ESA radars and state-of-the-art electronic warfare systems to three-dimensional thrust vectoring engines and new R-37M hypersonic air-to-air -air missiles. The fighter is loosely based on the MiG-29 design and can use much of the same maintenance infrastructure which will reduce the logistical burden on Iran's already overly diverse fleet. The MiG-35 is approximately 80% less costly to operate than the MiG-29, meaning Iran may in the long run reduce costs by phasing out existing MiG-29 squadrons for replacement with the MiG-35, alongside further acquisitions to form new squadrons. The MiG-35 entered service in the Russian Air Force in 2019, and its advanced avionics, excellent flight performance and unique armaments allow it to challenge much heavier classes of fighter including Israeli and Saudi F-15 Eagles. Su-30SM Iranian interest in the Su-30, a heavyweight twin-seat fighter derived from the Soviet Su-27 air superiority platform, has long been rumored. An Iranian Defense Ministry source stated over five years ago regarding the Iranian acquisition of the Su-30, around the time of the visit by Defense Minister Hussein Degan to Russia, Minister Degan will also discuss the delivery of Su-30 airplanes because the Defense Ministry believes the Iranian Air Force needs this type of plane. We've moved far in these discussions of purchases and I think that during the upcoming visit a contract will be signed. This was also reported by Russian state media. The minister stated shortly before his trip to Russia, specifically citing the Su-30, today we need to pay attention to air force and aircraft and we seek to seal a deal with the Russians upon which we will have partnership in the construction and manufacturing of the jet fighter. The Su-30SM is the latest and most capable variant of the Su-30 to enter service and benefits from two-dimensional thrust vectoring engines, a heavyweight high-performance airframe and the ability to carry a heavy payload and large radar. The fighter is still less sophisticated than 4++ generation Russian designs such as the Su-35 and MiG-35, but has a much higher operational cost than the latter. Su-57 Russia has offered the Su-57 to potential foreign clients from 2019, when it unveiled the Su-57E at the MAX Airshow, and the aircraft represents the highest-end non-Western combat jet available for export today. The fighters American and Chinese analogues the F-22 and J-20 have been reserved for domestic use only, but Russia's far more constrained defense budget has led it to seek to share the costs of the program with foreign clients, which could also facilitate a much-needed expansion of production lines. A contract for the aircraft is estimated at $2.8 billion for every two dozen fighters, far more than the Su-35 at $2 billion, or the Su-30SM for £1.2 billion for the same number. This means an Iranian purchase, if pursued, would likely be restricted to a very small number of aircraft. Despite this, the Su-57 may prove to be the most cost-effective option for Iran, 
providing a considerable performance advantage over all rival fighters in the Middle East with the exception of the U.S. Air Force's small contingent of F-22 Raptors. The Su-57's advanced capabilities allow them to engage fourth-generation fleets many times their size, and the considerable qualitative disparity which Iran would gain would be a game-changer for the regional balance of power.